the Stone Age, a time of dignity and mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, did you hear those strange grunts? Oh. What's going on with you? Oh. Oh. What is his problem, Doctor? <laughs> the hair they had at the time. <laughs> <clears throat> High fever and prehistoric delusions. The last book he read affected his mind. But what can we do? Nothing for the moment, and especially not contradict him. Any sort of shock could be fatal. But that means we have to act as though... We are living in the Stone Age. That is the idea. The whole prison has to go along with this? Prehistory, shmi history, what a bunch of nonsense. All they have to do is let me use these clubs my way. I guarantee Peabody would make an instant recovery. <laughs> this suits me, don't you think? <laughs> what fair vision this year. They're wearing threatened animals. I can't miss out. I'm gonna find a way to drape myself on their shoulders. <laughs> when I think of all those lotions I tried to make my hair grow, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> oh. Do you see what I see? Now that the guards have clubs instead of guns, getting out of here is going to be much easier. <laughs> oh, yeah? But how come it's going to be easier, Joe? Because guns can get you from a distance. Clubs can. And so? I'll show you what the difference is. Get this is a club. Get it, the club. Oh, yes. I get a difference now. Well, Joe, are you trying to damage our material? Now! These chestnut clubs, they really are effective. I prefer birch clubs. They're quicker, more precise. I think we're going to need a diversion after all. So how's the cave painting class coming along? Mr. Peabody, that's magnificent. Ah. Hey, Joe, oh. that's you. Oh. See, I recognize you right away. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I've got a new plan. All these idiots have their backs turned to us. Time for us to create a diversion with a pretty fire. Well, Daltons, uh. you've been playing with fire? <laughs> you can't stop us with your little clubs. Huh? We kept these two just in case. But how did they find out about my plan? Huh? Ah! I don't believe it. That ninny drew it on the wall. My best work. Don't you agree, Joe? You idiot! Take this! At last, I finally succeeded. We're going to help him forget the stress of prison by setting up a little workshop here in the cave. What kind of workshop? A sewing workshop. Sewing? The director would love to have a big animal skin blanket for the cold winter nights ahead. I'd rather break unbreakable rocks. Don't worry, guys. I've got a new plan. Well, hi there, ladies. My name's Winton Dove. And in perspective of our great artwork, freedom beckons. Gee, Joe, you're such a poet. Yeah, the words just come to me. You don't get to be at the heart of fashion every day. <laughs> Recovery, definitely! <laughs> <laughs> 
Life was a lot simpler in those days. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Yahoo! What, what is that thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah! Faster, giddy up! Huh? Hey, he disappeared! We got him! Woohoo! <laughs> Goodness gracious, he's going to fall! <laughs> the cliff! Slow down, Joe Brake! There are no brakes! Hello, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ritz and Dub, what are you doing? How strange. It feels like the whole day rushed past in a dream. I have no memory of anything I've done this morning. Mr. Peabody, sir. Miss Betty, what on earth are you wearing? You've recovered. That's fantastic. Uh -huh. uh, let's go back now, shall we? Fashion never lasts long enough. I can't wait for next year's collection. Breaking, always breaking. So when are we gonna break out? Well, I actually enjoy carving rocks. Uh, oh, another dungeon, brother. Must be a cousin from up north since he's so pale. That's stupid. You ought to be helping us find a way to escape instead of making something so... So glam! So artistic. Did you do this, Avril? Yep. I call it the... Uh, the try to thinker. <laughs> Bah! Wait till you see what I call you and your masterpiece. Averill absolutely must exhibit his work in town because his talents need to be expressed freely. Ah, oh, freely. Hey, that sounds good. Do you think so? True, I discern a certain talentism, but, uh... Miss Betty's right. Averill is so talented, sir. I've always said so. Oh, yeah? I thought he always said he was useless. Uh, you're the useless ones. I've got a plan. We replace his sculptures and we take off during the exhibition. Got it? <laughs> now, where were we? Ah, I can see the headlines already. Mm -hmm. Genius found in congenial penitentiary. I love it. Uh, I mean, I approve. Fantastic. Now, all you have to do is get to work, Mr. Artist. <laughs> Magnificent! You are truly a great artist, Mr. Averill. Ooh, more cousins from up north. Cool, let's say hi to them. <laughs> uh, why the stony welcome? Hey, you pause off the material. Ah! Must be an Eskimo tradition, like a welcome ritual. Well, come on, time for phase two. <laughs> Okay, Picasso, paint us now. Sure thing, Joe. To what kind of profile? No, you ninny. Paint us gray all over like your sculptures. You show him. Huh? It's not complicated. Ted. Whatever. Don't move. We're statues. It really, really looks like him. You bet. Almost as ugly as the original. They're leaving already? Too bad, I'll never know why they were so cold. This example of rehabilitation through art is a true fairy tale. Fairy tale? Oh, now I get it. A nasty witch would have spelled them and changed them into statues. I'd better give them a kiss to wake them up. <laughs> Even if I had to cross the desert to find them, I'll rescue them. I have the honor and privilegeism to present an immense artist whose talent was revealed in the fine establishment I happen to direct. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you Mr. Avril Dalton. Uh, I'd like to thank my brothers without whom I'd never be here and my mother, Ma Dalton. Make it short. We're not staying Dale. here all day. Frankie. Sergio, Brian, Robert, Mo, ow! 
Huh? Hurry up, numbskull. And now, everyone, I would like to invite you all to discover his work before we go on to the buffet. Yeah! <laughs> That's it. Stuff yourselves while we make a run for it. Avril, we're going. Mm -hmm. Avril. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a ninny. So, Avril, what will your next piece be? I'm so sure you already have an idea in mind. Avril, we're going. Already? But, Joe, I haven't had any of the canopies yet. Canopies? You want to drape fabric in the yard? That's an excellent idea. Let me talk to the director about it. Okay, now, Joe, I've eaten enough. We can go. Hop, 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 hop. Not so fast. This gentleman would like to interview you first. <laughs> Your savior is here. Uh, another one. Doesn't work. Well, time to try the other one. As soon as the artist finishes his interview, we take off. Uh, what movement? Um, aerobics? Like in gym class? Breathe in and out. One, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> Artists have such imagination. Now, have I described the new cultural program available in our establishment? You should be in the Follow us, Mr. Artist, or I do your face over Picasso style. Nothing. Say, there's some others over there. One last try. And freedom, here we come. Mark. <laughs> but what the? Hey, get off me. Down. Get off me. The Daltons are escaping. Stop them. Get off. <laughs> going on? We can't move! Wait for me, you're going too fast! <laughs> Bad luck, Daltons. You managed to mix up the paint with the extra slow setting cement. <laughs> Ooh, Avril, yet another masterpiece? <laughs> It'll go well with my new collection. Avril, help me! I got an itch!
this one's for you. Mm -hmm. uh, according to powers invested in me. The mm -hmm. court has declared that your sentence in prison is to be extended by 150 uh. years. <laughs> I'm being transferred to Santa Fricana Penitentiary. My mommy can visit me every single day. We'll take his place and make a break during the transfer. <laughs> oh, look, a hundred dollar bill. Where? Huh? We can't take all day, Mr. Peabody. To think that our poor little mama is there waiting for us all alone, far from our boys. Fine, then. But I'm going to escort you there. I've always wanted to visit California. Us too. <laughs> Can you two load my modest camping kit, please? Well... Oh. I knew we were rowing the boat. That's why you were able to smell the sea so strongly. Say, Joe, you reckon I can catch fish at the sea? There's a hole in the boat. We're sinking. We may get dogs first. Farewell, Miss Betty. Take good care of our inmates. Where are they going? To Santa Fricata. Aren't they lucky? Huh? I'm going to destroy you, Daltons! <laughs> Jealousy is very naughty, little Bob. To the corner with you. This is the way. A perfectly planned escape. Come on, we're out of here. <laughs> We're camping here, Daltons. Ah, sleeping under starry skies. Your tent is set up, sir. Ooh. Oh, think of Miss Betty all alone with those criminals. I do hope she can stand them. What artistry. But I feel like there's something missing. Yeah. That's... To the corner with you. You've gone over the edges! Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> nothing like dinner on an open fire. No, 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 Betty Buys. We have a long road ahead tomorrow. <laughs> Let's sing them a Ma Dalton style lullaby. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when Mama sang that song to us. Go! Uh, ooh, fireflies! No, Abra, laugh! Go laugh! Daltons, where are the Daltons? This time everyone jumps! Stop right there! No! Everyone out, Daltons! We're going to take a break here. What a delightful spot. The perfect place for our horses to drink. That's a bad idea. This water is toxic. It provokes hallucinations. <laughs> oh, the sheer beauty is a wilderness. <laughs> Fascinating. Mm. <laughs> Here, this will refresh you. Thank you. Nothing like a long journey to bring out kindred spirited man. Ow! Banknotes! Oh, I see your banknotes! Time to take off! Avril! <laughs> oh, Well, I think we better continue our journey. What do you think? Bark. 
<laughs> We've got to escape before we get to Santa Fricada, or we're in trouble. <laughs> Give me back my paper! Lil Bob, I must ask you to stop that right now, otherwise we'll have to neutralize you. Dear Melvin, what a pleasure to see you again. So then, where's my new inmate? How can I put it? We seem to have, uh, lost him. No! Ah! Stop this man, Mr. Peabody! Here he is! <laughs> and one, and two, stay together! So this the boot hole must block that up fast. Head on, home and sleep.